What is up everybody, Chris Hendrickson here, bringing you the Hendrickson news for today. And a few days ago, I put out a video about GiveWell's top charity recommendations for 2018. And I mentioned that I'd be doing a video on why I like to support Evidence Action's Deworm the World initiative. And today you are getting that information. So if you're new around here, please be sure to like and follow my Facebook page. It's at Hendrickson News. You can follow me on Twitter and then subscribe on my YouTube channel. So anyways, getting into the gist of it, I'm really excited to talk about this because it's something that I learned about a few years ago and have just been really hooked on donating to ever since then. And that is Evidence Action's Deworm the World initiative. So scrolling up, what Evidence Action does is deal with a very solvable problem, which is uh, parasitic worms. And scrolling into it, I'm going to read from you the website from a little bit. It says, while virtually non-existent and unheard of in developed countries today, parasitic worms and parasitic worm infections are endemic in many of the poorest countries in the world. These infections, known as soil transmitted helminths (STH) and schistosomiasis, interfere with nutrient uptake and lead to anemia, malnutrition, and impaired mental and physical development. They pose a serious threat to children's long-term health, education, and productivity. Infected children are often too sick or tired to concentrate at school or to attend at all. Uh, worm infections disproportionately affect the poor. They are easily transmitted in areas with poor sanitation, open defecation. Children are particularly susceptible to infection and experience the greatest morbidity. Parasitic worms enact, uh, exact an enormous toll on human capital, slowing economic development in parts of the world that can least afford it. And here are some of the kids uh, picture, pictured in the background image that are in line to receive their deworming pill. And scrolling down, they have a solution to this problem, and it's a simple treatment. You see this child getting the deworming solution right there. And going into it, it says, to combat worm infections, regular treatment with a simple pill is universally recognized as a safe and effective solution. The Deworm the World initiative supports school-based deworming, treatment de delivered through existing education infrastructure administered by teachers with support from the health system. This approach is highly cost-effective, well accepted by the community, by communities, and efficiently targets the population group at greatest risk for infection children. Rigorous evidence shows that school-based deworming can improve children's lives, education, and long-term productivity at an average cost of less than 50 cents per child per year. So that means that if you were to donate $20, you know, not a, mod a very modest amount of money to donate to this organization, you can have that $20 go to deworm 40 kids each year. And that's massive. That's basically an entire classroom of kids that you're deworming for a simple donation of $20. So that is why I like to support Deworm the World because one, I like to help children. Um, you know, they're our most vulnerable in society and they need the most advocacy because they can't advocate for themselves more often than not. And for me to be able to just write a check or put in my credit card information on their website and send over $20, I know that I can, you know, provide a lot of help for 40 kids and that really, really, really warms my heart. Um, one of the things I like to do is, as I'm donating, is Google Deworm the World and look at all the kids. You know, there's this kid right here. He's like, he looks super happy to get his deworming medication. And I just, I just love seeing it. It brings, it brings a huge smile to my face. Uh, and then moving forward, you know, this one, this kid's a little bit less uh, excited about the pill, but going to be equally protected against the intestinal worms. And then showing right here, some more kids lined up to receive their deworming medication. And to go into the problem of STH, the soil transmitted helminths, I just want to show this picture real quick and show you what these parasitic infection worms look like. All right, they don't happen a lot in the United States. There's uh, fewer than 200,000 US cases per year, and um, they are transmitted by contaminated soil or food. All right, so in condition in areas where the conditions are less sanitary, these worms' prevalence is a lot higher. Going into the website again, scrolling down about Deworm the World Initiative, I already talked to you about what they do, but here's that same photo I saw from before with the policy and advocacy. Uh, they have prevalence, uh, surveying, and mapping. 
they program plan and do management and they do a bunch of other things like public awareness training and distribution cascade you know the people lined up drug management and coordination and then monitoring and evaluation so scrolling down they've got a great video if you want to learn about deworm the world from you know them i would recommend watching this video it's really powerful it definitely gets me getting out my uh, credit card every time i watch it wanting to help out and look at how happy these kids are with their deworming pill you know to think like that these kids are going to be able to go to school, be able to learn things, and have a higher chance of success in life. It provides me a lot of a lot of joy to be able to um, help them out in that way. And you know, I'm just going to go over the results at a glance here, and then I'm going to show you an action report that I received via email about their effectiveness over the last five years in Kenya. So our results at a glance, in 2017, the Deworm the World initiative supported governments to treat more than 280 million children. All right, I'm gonna repeat that back, 280 million children. That is basically more than two thirds of the population of the United States. Deworm the World was able to work with the governments and treat these kids to get rid of parasitic worms. Uh, they were able to do this work in India, Kenya, Ethiopia, Vietnam, and Nigeria. They support India's National Deworming Day, which targets children ages 1 to 19 at schools and preschools. And in 2017, the program treated more than 260 million children. Uh, they do the majority of their deworming work in India. Uh, it seems like they've got a great relationship with the government there and with uh, institutions that can provide these type of interventions. And then scrolling down here, it says, with our technical assistance, Kenya's national school-based deworming program has consistently treated more than 6 million children per year since 2012, dr dr dramatically reducing STH and schistosomiasis infection. And as I mentioned, they were rated a top charity by GiveWell this year. And since 2014, GiveWell has named the Deworm the World Initiative one of the top rated charities. So scrolling down here, here's a brief chart about the uh, total number of children treated in the millions. As you can see, they're growing rapidly, basically doubling their uh, efforts every year from 2014 to 2016, and they're just about to reach 300 million kids per year in 2017. Uh, it's absolutely incredible work, and I feel really proud, especially when they send me updates like they do right here. They say, you know, dear Christopher, we can how we can deliver a strong future for disadvantaged kids. How can we deliver a strong future for disadvantaged kids around the world? Well, Deworm the World Initiative is a great way to do it, and. I just want to go over this chart right here. It's basically the reduction in worm prevalence in Kenya. And starting in the first year, before the deworming program occurred, there was a 33.4% uh, prevalence of worms in the population. Post deworming, they were able to reduce that down to 8.7. All right, in just one year, they were able to reduce the prevalence of worms 25%, which is massive, massive amount of work. And over five years, uh, they've been able to reduce the worm prevalence down to 3% from 13.9% this past year. And to me, that is incredible. And they, they do a really great job. They say, you know, with your support, we can continue to reach over 280 million children around the world as we explore other evidence-backed opportunities, including uh, surprising solutions for strengthening children's future. And that is why I like to support Deworm the World Initiative. Um, just It's a simple solution. We have a great organization here that's able to do a massive amount of good work to help provide high quality life outcomes for these kids. And that makes me really proud to support them. So if you're interested in supporting Deworm the World, go right there to evidenceaction.org slash deworm the world. You can donate whatever amount, even if you have like five, ten dollars, that's still gonna do a massive amount of work deworming, you know, ten to twenty kids. That's that's something to feel really proud of, uh, in my opinion. And I feel very proud uh, supporting this group. So that is where I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned, if you have not already, please go ahead, like, and follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. It's at Hendrickson News. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to be able to get that custom link. So we'll put Hendrickson News up there too to make it quick and easy for you. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have an incredible day wherever you are.